So information, information used for analysis, generally the information we're going to use is purely the information generated from accounting accountants, right? We're going to use our income statement, balance sheet, statement of stockholders equity, the cash flows, and the notes to the financial statements, uh, which is everything we've talked about how to prepare earlier in this class. So that's why it's so important to understand accounting is so we know how the information was developed so then we can assess it uh, if you're in finance. Obviously, accounting can get more complex. This class is enough where then if you did financial analysis, I would be confident that uh, if you understood everything in this class, you would be able to understand at least where the information is being derived from for financial statement analysis. So when we're assessing companies, there's really uh, a few ways we can assess, assess them using all of this information. We can assess company intra-company, which means we can assess divisions within a company. Like if I'm Procter & Gamble, I might have a body wash division, I might have a food division, and I might, might want to comp compare the division's profitability. So that's intra-company comparing within, or if I'm a consulting company, I might want to check my tax division and my financial accounting division and see which is more profitable. That's intra-company. Um, we might want to check against our competitors. If I am, if I am running my co consulting firm, I might want to see if my competitors are making as much margin as me, or if they have as much fixed expenses as me, or they have as much marketing expense as me. Um, uh, this all ties into a, a comprehensive business knowledge uh, and business acumen, right? Uh, com competitive analysis. I also might be interested in their pricing, right? And how their sales are working. Is their sales growing more than me? Are they getting more market share? I might want to compare against the industry as a whole using industry reports. So I might, uh, it would be useful for me to understand as a whole, are my rates too high? Are my rates too low? Am I on track? If the industry is growing and my business is shrinking, what am I doing wrong? I'm exceeding the industry, what am I doing right? And we might want to also compare against just general guidelines. So guidelines might be industry best practices on if, if you charge a billable rate, maybe we know we, you shouldn't charge over 100%. Or a better example is food industry, right? So staying, staying relevant to what's in the news. Um, a lot of companies right now are being penalized for food gouging or price gouging for food, for products, for toilet paper, all of that. And it's because they've gone beyond the federal guidelines. There are certain guidelines that everyone expects to be reasonable. And once you start charging 10 times as much for a sanitizer, then those, you, you either might break a law or you, might, uh, or you, you violate uh, internal guidelines for people, right? Where they, uh, you, you offend people and you can lose business. And so making sure that we're assessing, using this information to assess all these as management, to assess our competitors, assess against the industry, assess against what could be legal guidelines or just moral guidelines.